Girly, girly chicken swirlies, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I see you in my likes in the comments, and I love you. Today, I had so much fun doing this, and I'm so happy with it. I did a full face of drugstore dupes, TikTok viral products, e.l.f., I know you see it there. The, the mascara of the moment that's causing all the drama on TikTok. I had a lot of fun doing this, and I'm actually really happy with majority there's some things that disappointed me some things that didn't disappoint and some things i'm so happy i've added into my regime i'm very excited to use again so you're about to see the full tutorial and then at the end i'll check back in after wearing the face for a full day because i'm about to head out so we'll see how long it lasts but so far i'm obsessed i have some new obsessions now and i love it and i hope you love it i won't waste any more time you enjoy. Mwah. I love you. Skincare is done. We will do a full video on skincare. I'm kind of just waiting to get fully past my six month coming off the pill and getting the coil, which is, we're very close approaching the six month mark because the first six months your skin is just a little bit wild and hopefully it calms down then. But anyway, an updated skin video, skincare video is coming. So skincare is done and we're going to do the CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion. I don't really do primers anyway. I don't really do make a primer. So we'll moisturize the skin with CeraVe moisturizer. Is this a dupe for anything in particular? Not really. It would just be my cheap version of for the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, even though, or actually it's a bit more like the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream light, if anything. It's not like the proper cream but this is just nice and lightweight it's going to hydrate the skin it's not going to upset my skin it's going to work for me my hands look so orange in this lighting my face is so pale i haven't been using much tan on my face just to avoid the breakouts at the minute so usually i use the drunk elephant drops to bronze the skin so we're going to use the sculpted by amy liquid lights i love this in the what color is it? In the bronze glow color. This is a great dupe for it. It really makes the skin bronze and glow. Not too glowy. I was worried it would be a little bit like the iconic drops or something. Like I'd look like a tin man. But they're very cute. They, they do make the skin glow. They don't break me out. And they just bronze up the skin before foundation etc. Just bring it down the neck and the ears. Got a really dry patch on my neck last night so let's just moisturize her. So the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. This is meant to be the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. The only shade I get my hands on was shade 5. It's obviously too dark. It's too orange so we're gonna have to mix it with a lighter something. Just a lighter substance just to bring the tone back down a bit. Obviously I'd probably need a 2, 3 or a 4 I imagine. Like the Charlotte Tilbury I use shade 4. So this is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury shade 5. So let's, maybe I'll mix it on my hand with a concealer first. You know what, okay. Let's mix it, this is another product we're gonna try today. So we're gonna mix it with the Maybelline Perfector. Okay, let's just show you it on the skin first before we mix it with anything, because this is what we're doing. We're here to just test out the drugstore bits. Okay, obsessed with the applicator, that I love a big, fat, chunky applicator. So let's just color swatch. That could almost be, yeah, no, that's way too dark. Okay, but let me just, I just want to see it as a product first. Just let's just see how it blends out on my cheek. Okay, definitely shade too dark, but it is a beautiful product and it's very much giving Charlotte Tilbury. It's very much giving flawless filter. If anything, maybe the, the, the tiniest bit more coverage in it. It's not as transparent. Okay, then because I want to mix these two products for the shading, let's see what this is like on the other side of my face. This is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age. It's, it's a perfecter. It's a four-in-one glow makeup. It's primer, concealer, highlighter, BB cream. It's, it's giving hollow flows filter. It's giving the same thing. Oh my God, have I already twisted it? And it's the sponge. What's gonna happen? Am I doing it right? Come on. I'm pretty nervous. This does not look good. This is not look cute right now. Okay, okay, okay. So that's a bit of, you can see that area of that little bit of halo glow. Now over here, I need a close up. Let's test out this. Oh my God, this looks stunning. Okay, hold on. Okay, that's gorgeous. Oh, I really like that. Okay, that shade is obviously so much better. I did pick it up in a shade two as well, but I wonder will I just bring that back because that's looking way too dark. That's too medium. Or will I save it for summer? I think, okay, one fair is gorgeous. Okay, so are you seeing how nice? Do a bit of a beauty blender. Okay, I really like that on the skin. It's giving the skin a glow. They're both very nice products. I'm appreciating both. So let's mix the two because the colors, let's just, 
let's just get things right here. So let's do a bit more of you. Let's do a bit of the Elf. A bit more of the Maybelline. Because of the shade, I'm preferring the Maybelline. And I'm liking the applicator on the Maybelline. So let's just blend everything out. Yeah, no, the Elf is oh, it's way too dark. Okay, hold on. Maybelline, I need you to neutralize everything. Come on. I love when my beauty blender is nice and cold. I do my beauty blender almost like sopping wet. I just like it really damp. It just blends everything so much better that way, I think. I love that. Okay, so if I'm gonna give it to you right now, right now I'm preferring the Maybelline because the shade is obviously correct compared to picking up the five. But just as a product, as an applicator, I just, I feel like that's a fabulous like on the go kind of product. Elf is stunning and it definitely is a flawless filter dupe, but I'm kind of loving the Maybelline Perfector. Controversial, I don't know. I'm, I'm loving both, but the Maybelline's winning me. I just love the applicator. I think she's won, okay? Like that just makes a stunning day skin. It's very natural, like in summer, that'll be stunning. I'm definitely looking very orange. What's terrifying is I think I got the complete wrong shade concealer. But I always look orange and then concealer, we conceal with a much fairer shade and that kind of neutralizes it all. Just stay with me, okay? Bear with me. So this Elf Foundation is meant to be the dupe for the NARS Sheer Glow. I love the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, but I do love the Sheer Glow Foundation and it's always been on my makeup desk. I'll always grab it and I'll mix it with things or use it on its own, especially in summertime. So we're going for the Elf. We're going for Elf Flawless Satin Foundation. I got the shade Cashew. The shade range wasn't amazing. Like the, the next one up from this was way too dark, but the one below it was way too fair. So let's Let's just, let's swatch, let's color test, shade Cashew. Oh, it's lovely. I think that's lovely. That's shade Cashew. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, I'm very happy with that. I was quite nervous about it. That is like a very neutral tan tone. Obviously my foundation, I always buy a fake tan shade because I'm pretty much always wearing fake tan. So yeah, okay, love that, love that. Okay, so let's do one pump here, let's. Let's spread this nicely. Let's do two pumps and see how she spreads and then we can build. Okay. Oh my God, yeah, this, okay, this is stunning. Oh, I'm very happy about this. It's, mm, it's it smells nice, but I don't like very frag, it's quite fragranced. Oh, it's very fragranced. And like, it's a nice smell, but I don't like fragrance. Like that's probably gonna upset my skin. Hmm, okay, that's one downfall. But everything else, it kind of smells like men's aftershave. And like, yeah, lovely, but is that gonna trigger my skin now? Okay, it's beautiful though. I do love the way it's making my skin look. It's very similar to the NARS Sheer Glow. Probably similar to the shade Stromboli. It's not as dark as Barcelona. It's probably Stromboli for me. Okay, I do love that. That was two pumps. And I think for now, I'm happy with two pumps. On first impressions and first application, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna give that. So far, I'm giving that an eight out of 10. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. Concealer, I just went for an OG. Maybelline eraser, you know the one. Like, we all know this. I do love the little sponge applicator. So it's very similar to our Perfecture that we just used. Like, they're kind of like two cutesy little sister products. So let's do our concealer. What shade did I get? I used to always use this and always loved it. Would I say this is the dupe for kind of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Concealer? Pretty pretty much, yeah. What shade is it? 16WN02? Is that, oh, shade 115, hello. Okay, so let's go. So as I said with concealers, I just like to get a much fairer shade and quite a neutral tone because it'll just neutralize the orangeness of me, of it all. Okay, she's looking a little bit wild right now. Yeah, okay. Love the shade already. That's my usual kind of fair shade. Let's get a nice, generous under eye going on. Okay, kind of fragranced again, but I'll deal. Okay, let's blend her. Oh my God, I forgot how much I love this concealer. So, okay, this is all first application, first impressions, I guess, because we're gonna see how it wears and how it lasts but I'm liking this. I'm liking this American boy. American boy. Do the eyelids. Yeah, I love the tone of that, that shade 115. 
I like the consistency. I like the way the skin looks. I like it. That's gonna, I'm gonna give that like, the only thing that's missing out of it, I guess, is like the bounce that I love in a concealer. Like I always say the Charlotte Tilbury Radiant Concealer makes you almost look bouncy and elastic. This is a little bit dry looking right now. You know what, I'm not as glow, like I don't feel as hydrated and as glowy, that's the one thing I will say already in this regime, I just don't feel super hydrated and glowy, but that's okay, let's keep going. Okay, cream contour, I picked up the Revolution, it's in a pan, it's the Ultra Cream Bronzer Dark. It, it being in a pan, I guess, yeah, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer, but this shade, everything about it is kind of giving me my rare broody oil. <laughs> rare beauty always sunny so let's give her a go uh, i'm gonna use my refi oh okay it's very soft it's very oh it's very creamy oh it's very like wet oh it's very wet i wasn't expecting that i thought that was gonna i actually thought it was gonna be a loss because the charlotte tilbury cream bronzer is actually quite dry it's okay that's that's like more melted, more soft than I was expecting in a good way. Okay, hold on, got it on our brush. Let's go. Oh shit, I probably, oh my God, I have too much on the brush. Oh, why do I do this? Let's just wipe off with excess. Okay, silly, 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 okay. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, this is nice. It's actually a really nice shade because it, it's de it's still that kind of bronzy but contouring color. It's not like it's not too orange, but it's not too gray. Okay, I like it. Mm. Do I look a little bit dirty though? Is it a little bit mucky looking? I'm not in awe. I'm not gasping, but it's cute. Let's do just a little bit of nose. Bit of a smell from it. It's okay. Yeah, it smells like it smells like a sweet or something. Okay, 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 yeah, no, okay. I'm gonna give that, let's give it like a six. I'm gonna give it a, no, I'm gonna give it a, no, uh, I'll give it a five because I'm not like screaming, raving about it, but it does a lovely job. Like it's, it blended nicely. It's a soft consistency. It's a good color. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted to get the NYX Cheek, Liquid Cheek, that's meant to be like a dupe for Rare Beauty. Couldn't get it anywhere. I did end up picking up these e.l.f. like putty blushes, which like, are they a dupe for anything? I don't like, I don't think they're a particular product dupe, but I just wanted like a drugstore liquid blush. So what color? I'm thinking, what color will I use? Bermuda? Will I use Bermuda or Belize? Bermuda or Belize? Uh, Bermuda looks a little bit more pillow talk to me. Let's try Bermuda. Okay, so this is it. Let's do a little swatchy. Okay, th okay, that's definitely giving pillow talk in color. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, definitely a glow. The color payout isn't insane. We'll just have to build it. That's okay. Definitely has that pillow talk glow about it. Let's blend her a little bit. Oh, she's pretty. She's pretty. Is she showing? Can you see her? Okay, I like her. Definitely have to build her up. Can you kind of tell her consistency? Are you seeing her properly? She is very cute. And you know what? I like a little pot like that because you can bring that out with you because I like to touch up my blush sometimes because, you know, because blush can kind of disappear and blush is the one thing I want people to notice on my face is oh your blush i love it like what if someone compliments me on my blush day made day made i just think it's like the prettiest product on your face so uh okay so yeah it definitely takes a lot of building a lot of work i guess and i know a lot of people are like i don't want to buy i don't want to spend money on a product that i have to like work with and work for but because it's more affordable maybe it's kind of worth it whereas like if you paid a lot of money for that you'd probably be like oh fuck that Okay, no, I really like that. I'm gonna give that a seven. N no, would I give it a seven or a six? My ranking, my ranking is always a bit off because I just don't know how to be right, how to get it right. So no, let's say a six because you have to build it, you have to work it, 
but then it does look beautiful on the skin and I feel like that will be noticed. I feel like, I feel like someone would ask what's on my cheeks and that's usually the goal. It's definitely giving pillow talk. It's giving that kind of texture to the skin. I like her, let's give her a six. Six, almost seven. She'd be a seven if it didn't take such layering, I guess. Okay, girls, brows. Honestly, I'm gonna use my Benefit pencil. I just find any brow pencil is gonna do the job. I'm not like, to, like you know, you could get a NYX brown pencil, a Catrice brow pencil. I'm just not too picky, so I just, I'm gonna use my Benefit one. Is Benefit Drugstore not really? But I just, does that make sense? Like. I just wouldn't even recommend, like, I just think any brow, just grab yourself any brow pencil is probably going to do the trick. Because for me, I just only lightly fill mine in. So, like, the brow pencil isn't the biggest part of it. I'm I'm big into my brow gel or, like, a brow wax or whatever. So, I'm just lightly filling in any gaps because I am due a tint from my angel, Laura. And now we're going to use the NYX, uh, the brow glue. This is lovely. It's translucent. It stays all day, like it keeps my brows in place. It does the job. Would I call it a refi brow dupe? I don't know if I'd call anything a refi brow dupe because it's just quite unique, um, that her formula. But like if you don't want to spend money on the refi brow, I would recommend this. This is lovely. It does the job. It's not sticky. It doesn't get like stuck in your makeup. And it does hold really well. This spot is growing as we speak. That's okay. We'll keep an eye on you. I'd give it like a 8 out of 10. It's really good. Does the job. And it's really cute and mini, you know. If you have wild brows, you need to top them up all day. There you go. I religiously put bronzer on my eyelids. So we're going to do the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is a gorgeous one. Really nice formula. It smells amazing. It smells like summer holidays. And it's just a, it's a good colour. Um, this is the Deep Bronzer is there different colours in this? I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's it's a lovely bronzer and I always, always, always put bronzer on my eyelids. So it's, uh, this, one, this is one I can count on. I can trust it. I really like it. It's another lovely summer product. I keep talking about summer today. I'm obviously very in the mood. I'm, pr yeah, I'm excited for summer. It's, it's very cold and boring now. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Even though I love winter, I'm such a liar. It just, oh, it smells like coconut. It smells like summer. But yeah, that's perf. I don't actually, I don't powder bronzer on my skin anyway. I just like cream bronzer, but it is, it's a lovely powder bronzer if you prefer to powder bronzer all over rather than a cream bronzer. As well as religiously doing bronzer on the lid, I'll religiously do a brown eyeliner. I'm not picky at all about brown eyeliner. This is a Rimmel pencil, Rimmel soft coal in the color 00, uh, 011 brown or the NYX um, natural brown. There's, there's a lovely NYX brown pencil, but any brown eyeliner, not too picky. I'll just start at the outer corner and just lift the eye ever so slightly. Just a little soft wing, nothing too heavy. And just lining the inner waterline. I do like to go on the inner corner as well, my brown eyeliner. Just to like extend the eye. Do you see what that did there? Just that tiny little flick on the inner and it just elongates the eye. Girls, I got my hands on the most controversial mascara in history is the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Lift. I'm sure you've seen the drama all over TikTok. And listen, whatever, it, whether the, if it was on purpose with the falsies, look it up on TikTok if you don't know what I'm talking about. If it was on purpose, good job because everyone has gone out to buy it. Um, it's wild. So here I am to try it and I'm excited to try it. So let's give it a whirl. So it basically, Charlotte Tilbury has a wand like this too. It has like a flat side and then like an arch. And you basically apply with the flat, like where all the product is, and then you separate out the lashes and you can do like a few coats. So let's see how we go. Okay, a lot of, okay, a lot of product. Love that. A lot of product comes off straight away. Mm-hmm. I get mascara everywhere. I'm gonna have to get the Q-tips, so that's okay. Okay, there's a lot of product coming off and then let's brush through. Okay, I'm getting it everywhere, but it is fab. It is fab, let's do one more coat. Okay, it's very impressive. It is like really clumping my lashes together, so that's why you have to like separate them afterwards. So it is making them look very full, whoa. 
Okay, hold on. Okay, it's really clump- Whoa, okay, it's really clumping them together right now. Oh shit, okay, we need to separate them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen my lashes look like this. Okay, I get the hype. I, like, like, falsies weren't needed to be added to that ad. Like, this is stunning. Let me get the Q-tips. I'm basically taking all the bronzer off, but that doesn't matter. Girls, it is worth the hype. Like, falsies were not needed in that moment. Like, it sells itself. It, that, it genuinely does sell itself. I go on and on and on about MAC Extended Play Mascara, and I love MAC Extended Play Mascara, but if this doesn't leak, that's my big test, is if my eyes don't go leaking throughout the day. If I keep the below lash line clean, I should be okay. But sometimes mascaras just go running down my face. So if I just keep below clean and not much product and just see how that goes. And then let's just touch up on the liner a little bit again. Because with mascara on, you can kind of see where you want your liner to go. And it just almost acts like a little extra lash out there. I am very impressed. I am very impressed with that mascara. I'm not sure if you can see or what you can see or what you think, but genuinely it is amazing and it's worth all the hype. And like the drama wasn't needed for it to sell. Like that sells itself. Like that really is, I am actually really happy with that. I didn't think I'd like it that much and I do. Wow. Game changer. I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. I am straight up giving that a 10 out of 10. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be buying Mac Extended Play again. I'm I'm obsessed. So we'll see if it goes running down my face. Let's see how it wears for me. Because that's the true test for mascara for me. Okay, girlies, let's do the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I love the Laura Mercier setting powder. I wanted to do a loose powder rather than a compact powder today because I, I just always use a loose powder recently. So let's do a loose powder dupe. Okay, I just got that all over me. I'm gonna use my beauty blender and let's do the T-zone, the usual. I'm enjoying a beauty blender for a powder recently. It just, it kind of blurs the skin, makes everything look good. Okay, this is lovely. Kind of has a glow to it while also blurring the skin. I like it, I like it. Doesn't smell, which I appreciate. Don't like anything too fragrant for my skin. Okay, definitely blurring the under eye and the, the skin. Oh, I like it. Picasso. It's not too powdery. It's not too chalky. I'm gonna, am I looking a little bit dry right now? Hold on. Am I a little dry? No, no, we're okay. We're okay. Okay, I'm definitely gonna test all of this out for photos and flash. That's a big thing with powder is the flash. I'm liking that. I think I like that. Okay, I like the powder. Revolution Hydrating Fix is meant to be the dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, let's not spray that yet. Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, okay, that was not a nice taste in my mouth. Kind of tasted like alcohol, and I'm not there right now. Revolution Hydrating Fix. Okay, that's, that's lovely. Again, that's kind of a product I'm gonna have to test after a few hours. I can't say much about that right now. Little bit of alcohol in my mouth, kind of tasting. Looks fine on the skin. I don't know. Lips, let's do NYX. I picked up, I love Nude Beige from NYX and I love Mauve. Mauve is kind of like a pillow talk too. And Nude Beige is kind of like an iconic nude. So let's do an iconic nude, you know me. You have a mustache coming on. I need to, um... sorry girlies, camera died, shock car. So I went off and was filming a bit of content. So the one thing I, her. The one thing I didn't get to show you was doing the lip, so let's just top up the lip. So I did Nude Beige was the nude liner that I did, Iconic Nude Vibes. And then this, what colour is this? This is Fiercely Flirt, Fierce Flirt, Fierce Flirt. And it's that duo pen thing, duo lip. So this is like the colour, hold on. Um, it's a kind of, it's kind of a pillow talk pink, maybe a bit more mauve to it and like, it's mm, it's more glossy than, okay, that looks really purple right now. It's more glossy than like the Pillow Talk lipstick. I love this end of it, the clear gloss. This is lowly. Oh, I'm just gonna dab it on just to kind of, it's a bit too producty right now. Let's just dab, 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 dab. Okay, and that's the lip. Okay, girlies. So girlies, overall, I am so impressed. I'm really, I'm actually really happy with everything. Let's maybe run through what I would be like, 
I think you need. Like there's some bits that I'm like, yeah, it was fine. Let's do the needs. So I, the blush, no, the blush color has disappeared for me. The glow is still there. I don't think the color is as bright. She is growing. What do we call her? Let's call her Sophia. We have a little Sophia over here. And um, okay, so the blush color, I'm not screaming about the blush. The products that I'm gonna rave about. Let's start off with the e.l.f. If I got the right color, I think I'd be like, yes, 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 big fat yes. It's definitely a Hollywood Flawless Filter dupe. It's the exact same thing and in the right shade, yeah, 10 out of 10. I am more impressed, however, with the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow. I'm really impressed with this. I got 0-1 Light. I really love it. I'm like excited to use it again. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to do a TikTok video on it. Am I really late to this? Like, I feel like I hadn't heard much about it and I'm obsessed, but surely everyone is also obsessed because, I don't know, I just think that's a really nice product. I was really happy with it. I love the applicator. I love a big sponge like that. I know some people don't like it because like bacteria wise, but personally, love it. I really loved that. And if I had to pick one, because I got the right shade, I'm gonna say the Maybelline Perfector. I'm also really happy with the e.l.f. foundation, shade Cashew, the Flawless Satin Foundation. Very impressed with that, really like it on my skin. I, yeah, am I going 10 out of 10 for that as well? Like everything on a drugstore level is getting a, a 10 out of 10. Like if I compare it to NARS, I, am I just a bit of a brand snob that I'd probably be like, ah, oh, I'd pick NARS, but no, like that is stunning, does the same job. I'll, again, we'll check in with the wear, like later, I'm, I'm going out. I'm going out with Sam soon. So tonight I'll check back in with like how happy I am with it all, but this is like first impressions rating. But I've already lost a little lid. The Maybelline concealer, I have always loved it. 115, love it, would, would, would purchase, would repurchase. That mascara, I'm just so impressed with. I think that's like, I think that's my most, I think top two products out of the whole video, top two products. Top two products, I'm giving them that. Sorry, I know I'm holding you up. Top two products of the video, I'm saying the mascara and the Maybelline Perfector. They're my top two. I am so obsessed with these. I'm again, like literally excited to wear them again. Mascara still looks great. We'll check back in if it's giving me leaky eye, but so far it's not falling. No, like nothing's falling down. Like it's, these are my top two. And then I did really like the e.l.f. powder. I did, uh, that was nice and I'm still happy with it. I'm not getting too shiny yet or anything. I'm happy with that. The most underwhelming was probably the Revolution cream bronzer and the e.l.f. blushes. I'm gonna put them lowest. I think they're my least impressed. Just the color is kind of already gone. It's not doing what I would want it to do. It's not giving rare beauty. It's not even really, at, at first it was giving pillow talk wand or um, pink as wand. I kept saying pillow talk, pink as wand, but uh, no, last, for the la for the finish, for the last, like, and it's only been like less than an hour. My camera just started, I haven't been, even been out yet and the color didn't really survive. And the cream bronzer just, I'm not all that like, wow. I, it didn't wow me, it, it didn't wow me. Okay, so let's check back in after a few hours of wear and we'll see. Sophia's gonna be grown as well. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So me and Sophia, we will check back in. We'll check back in and let you know the finished results, the finished product. Okay, yeah, love you. Hey girlies, I told you I'd check back in. I almost forgot, I almost took off my whole face. But this is the check-in. I'm very happy, but I'm very, I'm, I'm very happy about the skin products. My under eyes did get a bit dry and creasy and my mascara has very much, I came home a little bit panda eyes, a little bit panda eyes. So I, as much as I loved the mascara, it didn't quite pass my leaky eye check, which I'm very upset about. So MAC Extender Play is in, in the lead there with the leaky eyes. Lips, loved. Blush, no, no sign of the blush. Uh, bronzer, mm. uh, but foundation, loved. Concealer, other than the under eye, loved. Powder, powder, I probably will go back to my other powders, my Laura Mercier powder, but it was a good, cheaper powder. Um, so top favorites were the foundation, the e.l.f. foundation, the e.l.f. glow, and the Maybelline glow. And I think they were my favorites. Okay, I love you so much, I'll see you in the next video. We will do skin soon, but we gotta go to bed. I love you, bye.